Good morning, brothers and sisters. It is cold here. I'm just waiting for everything to heat up, but I'm up early and at it, finding the news. We are finding it. It is close, brothers and sisters. Now, before I start, please subscribe to this channel if you like what we're doing and hit the notification bell because what you can do there then is share this everywhere, share the work everywhere. We've got sensitive stuff on the channel, um, too sensitive for YouTube, I think. The stuff going to get deleted. I'm pretty sure about that. But we have other social media in the description. We have Rumble, we have Patreon, and above all, we have the mailing list. The mailing list is there to bring everybody together in a hurry. Not that we might get a chance because we're gone in the twinkling of an eye very shortly, in my understanding. So do, brothers and sisters, subscribe. Your work is to share. You have got work. You've got a commission. The commission is definitely to get the gospel out. I can't think of a better way. Subscribe. But anyway, news. And it is end times news. Now, it's, it's knocking at the door because China Force is on high alert after US warship sails near Taiwan. The Chinese Navy has condemned a US warship for sailing through the Taiwan Strait, accusing Washington, D.C. of trouble stirring and ongoing tension regarding the Israel's independence in Beijing. Let's just go to a piece of scripture in Luke 21, 20. When you see Jerusalem compassed, surrounded with armies, then know that the desolation therefore is nigh, is near. OK, we're near. If we're not near, what's all these signs about? What's all these Luke 20, Luke 20, 20, Luke 21, 20 signs about. It's getting surrounded. It is a major thing. The peace plan's been done. It is hot, hot time for Jesus to come and get us. Oh, I am so excited. I shouldn't be. On the back of that, Abijah, Azerbaijan violates ceasefire agreement, targets civilian infrastructure in Stepanakert. 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 Okay, we'll get it right. Once again, in its targeting of the civilian infrastructure, we see Azerbaijan following the Philistines jihadi playbook. Okay, got to be careful what we say at the moment. Remember, this video will be on Rumble. It'll be also on Patreon. Okay, so they're the sites, the only sites. We, I, this is going to go down. I tell you. That's why I'm not doing the green screen showing it at the moment. Um, I'm being as careful as I can. And if we look in Mark 13, 29, so ye in like manner when you see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh even at the doors. It, that it's even at the doors. It's, it's a sort of, I'll read that again. So ye in like manner when ye see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh, it's near, even at the door. Even at the door. Whoa, I'm excited this morning. I am absolutely excited with what the Lord's doing, honestly. Which is interesting because YouTube announces plans to ban content related to QAnon. QAnon is conspiracy. I don't know how, you know, I don't follow it, but I know of it and I see a bit of it. And it is, it's getting banned. We know the COVID uh, are getting banned. YouTube is playing every play I don't think they're conspiracy at all. They're just doing what they're being led to do because they're a huge social media site, as we know. Google, you know, they're huge. They've got a lot of interest in policing governments as well and not getting huge, huge fines. Signs are there. The signs are all there. The scripture's being fulfilled. We know Israel was made a nation in a day, in a day, as the prophecy said. Wow, 1,500 years, they were roaming around being persecuted, and they were made a nation in a day in 1948. That is the time clock to the end, in my opinion. We are in the fig tree generation. We are the last generation. And are we now at the end? Israel is 73 years old. I haven't, I haven't checked it on date and time. <clears throat> Should do the research. Everything is so excitingly, excitingly close. And to round it off, because of the peace plan, for, for the first time ever, more Jews pray on the Temple Mount than Western Wall. Hmm, that is interesting because in 1 Kings oh, 8, it tells us what they, they, they were back to the, 
to the wall, to the to the east, to the east or to the wall, you know, guys. Um, and now we're looking at, for the first time ever, more Jews pray at the Temple Mount. Let's read on in this. I'll read the scripture from the Israel Bible. And David built there in Misabiah to Hashem and sacrificed burnt offerings and offerings of well-being. Hashem responded to the plea for the land and the plague against Israel was ended. Samuel 24, 25. <clears throat> but the article is written in a recent video take taken during Sukkot, Feast of Tabernacles, Israel, videographer Moshe Nishamboyim, 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 took a tour of Jerusalem's old city comparing the, the turnout of the iconic Western Wall to the Temple Mount. To his surprise, notice that the Western Wall was completely empty on holiday, where just a year ago it would have been packed with a festival overflow of crowds. They were on the Temple Mount. Now, I don't know if we're in seals. It was just a thought of mine that may have gone horribly wrong. But I just want to go to the fourth seal because we know this hasn't happened. You know, we know this is, there's no possibility this happened. And my notes, when he opened the fourth seal in Daniel 6, in uh, Revelation 6, 7, the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, is the only one worthy to open the seal, okay? When he does so, another of the four living creatures summons another horse. Behold, a pale horse. This is in 6.8. This fourth horse is pale, literally yellowish green, the sickening colour of corpse. Its rider, its rider's name was Death and Hades followed him. The death symbolised here is the natural consequence of the previous three judgments. War and starvation will produce many dead bodies. This leads to an escalation of plagues and illness around the globe. Wild beasts feed on the dead, spreading disease even further. This is common. This has not happened. Note that Hades is a biblical term for the place of the dead, a New Testament counterpart of Old Testament Sheol. The word is fitting here because it is prevalence of death due to the judgments of God. Death and Hades are companions. Death claims the body and Hades claims the soul. They were given authority over a fourth of the earth to kill. A fourth of the earth is going to die, whether you believe me or not, in this seal opening. The death toll will be catastrophic. A fourth of the earth's population in today's figures is about 1.7 billion people will die. That is a seal that's going to happen. Why is it going to happen? Because all prophecy has been fulfilled to date. So there's no reason why all the up and coming prophecies shall not be fulfilled. Nobody in the secular world is interested. They just think it's, it's all myth and it's never going to happen. How can they miss 500 plus prophecies in the Bible? No other book has been written that has prophecy in it that's come true. None of it. Joseph Smith, nothing has happened like the Bible. It has all happened. The prophecy on Jesus Christ, the prophecies before Jesus were fulfilled 100% accurately, that he came, died and rose again, that he would be beaten, that he would be cut open, that his back would, that he would be ploughed. All prophecy came true on the cross. You need brothers and sisters to get out. You need it now more than ever. Not just the brothers and sisters, they've got it. What you need is if you're not a part of the gospel, then get a part. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are saved. If you keep these things in your heart, it is not lip service. You cannot just say it. You've got to follow it. You've got to believe it. You've got to be in it, worried about it. With fear and, tre fear and trembling, you know, you've got to want it. Because fear and trembling is coming. That is the fourth seal. That is going to be opened. Then we have seven trumpets. It's, it's, we have more seals. It's, it's coming like we've never seen before. It says that the rich and wealthy will hide in caves, bunkers, wishing that they would fall on them of fear of God. They will realise it, so will you. If you're in the tribulation... 
go, I would suggest go now and buy a Bible or download a free apps to Bible Gateway and go to the last book in the Bible, the book of Revelation and read from six on. Because if you're seeing this, then you're probably, you. if you're seeing this, the fourth seal, you're in it. Then you're going to have to endure to the end. You can still come to Christ, but you're going to have to wear the mark. If you wear the mark of the beast, whatever that is, we're not sure yet, on the right hand or the forehead, then you'll be disqualified. It'll probably take your soul. We're hearing this on other things now that some of these zines are taking away people's abilities. So we need to be aware. Now, again, Discord, we're on Discord. We do talk about it. We don't dismiss it. We, we, we're end timers. We're all looking face against the glass, uh, nose against the glass, looking up, waiting for the, our Lord and Saviour to come and take us out of what's going to come. That is the promise that we will not endure the wrath. That is the wrath. Most sincerely, that is the wrath. I am watching three others, as you know. George from The Return of the King, Brenda Waltner and Barry Orr. Do subscribe to their channels. I'm watching all three, trying to put it together as a watcher, bring the watchers together. That was always on my heart to do. And they've worked with me and they're lovely people and allowed me to share their videos. Brothers and sisters, I'll be out shortly with more. I will just leave you with may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you this day and always. God bless.